Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Brother HL L2350DW laser printer. And if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to this in the description. If you use that link, it helps me out a little bit. It doesn't cost you anything extra. So this is the uh, printer itself. It's out of the box, but I haven't really set it up yet. It comes with a little quick setup guide. It comes with a CD-ROM if you still have an optical drive, which a lot of people don't anymore. Um, has product safety guide. Uh, looks like this is an ink system. It says called Refresh. I think that's where they send you toner. And this is the one-year warranty. And the big quick setup guide, which is like a poster. So it says, you know, unpack the drum unit and toner cartridge. Um, you can remove the packaging and then we'll put the toner in and then load the paper tray. So this has uh, 250 uh, capacity cartridge down here for paper. And it has the uh, tray to load this with like cardstock. It does 32 pages a minute. And it comes with a uh, 700 page uh, toner. And it comes, it has two toner options. There's a little sticker up here. It does uh, the TN730 and the TN760. And one is the high yield toner and one is the low yield. Okay, so let's get the toner loaded in here. You put your hands on the side, you just kind of fold it down. It has some packing material on here. I'll just pull that off. And we'll slide that in and close it up. So now I'll turn it on. So I'll press the on button here. It says, please wait. Now it says ready. I'll load some paper in it. It says change T1 paper. It says yes or no. It says paper type. Paper size. Plain paper accepted. Paper type, plain paper accepted. Okay, so I want to print with this wirelessly. Okay, it says ready. I want to hit OK. I want to click network. I want to choose WLAN. And then setup wizard. It says searching SSID. It says select SSID. If it has yours on the screen, you can hit OK. And that's going to ask for the network key, and you need to enter this in using the arrow key. So that's uh, going to take a little while to do. And I'm blurring this out, obviously. So I've entered it in. It's going to say Apply Settings. I'm going to choose Yes. It says Connecting to WLAN. It says Connected. It says Press OK key. And we're finished with that, I think. So the Wi-Fi button is lit now. So now I'm going to switch over to the computer and I'm going to set up the printer on the computer. Okay, so I'm logged into my computer now. I'm going to go to support.brother.com slash Mac, since I'm on a Mac, and you can do the same thing with Windows. It's going to say search by product category. I'm going to say monochrome laser printer. It says select your product series. I'm going to choose HL-L2. So we have an HL-L2350DW. So I'll choose that option. And it says Windows, Mac, Linux, or mobile. So I'll choose Mac OS 10.15. I'll hit OK. So there's a couple different options here. There's the full driver software package, uh, just the driver. There's wireless setup wizard, the uh, I print and scan application and a firmware tool. So this firmware was released on December 26th, so I may need to update it on this machine. I'm guessing I will need to. But uh, I'll just download the driver package. It's 
So I'll go to my downloads, I'll open up the image. I'll double click on Start Here Mac. I'll open it. I'll agree to the license. And I'll say I have a wireless network connection. It's going to search the network for it, and there it found it. I'll hit Next. It says, Start Here Mac would like to access files in your downloads folder. I'll hit OK. And now I'm just going to go through installing the software. So now it's saying add printer. I'll hit add printer. I'll choose the brother printer. And then under use here, under use it says uh, brother HL series cups. And it says to use that option. So I'll choose that. I'll hit add. I'll hit next over here in the wizard. And then it talks about the brother iPrint and scan. I don't really want to do that. So I think we're all set up now. So I'll try printing this page. So this is two pages, what I'm printing now, and I have two-sided set up. So we'll see how that works. Okay, so here's the printout. So you'll see this a lot on things you print. There was almost nothing on the second page anyway, but it's there. So that printed out. So I think this printer is a good printer if, uh, say you have an inkjet printer that does color and you print black and white on occasion. Um, this works very well because you can buy this printer and have it for like 10, 20 years and the toner's not gonna dry up in between uses. So if you occasionally print with um, you know, black and white, um, you can just have this sit there idle. When you call for it to print, it will print and just work and then it'll go back to sleep and you won't have to have like, and you won't end up with like faded ink or anything like that, like you have an inkjet and then you got to run to the store, get a cartridge, swap it out. It's another 20, 25 bucks you spend. Um, this thing will last a long time. So I think this is a good addition to someone who has an inkjet that has the scanner, the fax and all that stuff in it, but you just want to print some black and white pages cheaply and uh, reliably. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions about this, please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.